Number three is very special. Prayer. Yes, you heard me right. Prayer. After the wedding, many people withdraw physically. But some people still withdraw spiritually. Either you like it or not. Either you believe it or not. I'm telling you the truth. The spiritual realm is very real. Some presence are with you in that room. So it's a time to, to route the atmosphere with prayer. Again with your partner in prayer. Structure how your home wants to look like in prayer. Thank God for your spouse. Thank God for making that wedding day a success. Okay? And then dip the foundation of your marriage in the blood of Jesus. Shield your marriage with the fire, with the fire of the Holy Ghost against a fairy dance shot at you from the pit of hell. Because the truth is, devil does not like union, does not like unity, does not like marriage. So they're going to be firing some fairy darts at you from the pit of hell. So that night is not just for sex, but it's a time to walk. I'm not talking a prayer of 30 minutes. You can use one hour or more. I've seen couples who, uh, who dedicated a whole three days for that without having sex. They were just praying and thanking God. It's worth it. Some will go seven days, some will go just that night. Just make sure you pray. And 